Hello and welcome back to another episode of Go and Make. I'm Andrew Crabtree, joined by co-host Ryan Wagner. And this week we got to sit and chat with Finch Sprouse. Awesome name. Very cool name. Uh, he has been with on staff with Crew for over 30 years now. He's been working with Jesus Film Project though for only about eight months. But he is in a very cool space of research and development. So in this episode, uh, it was kind of neat to learn what R&D means in the context of a ministry. Which sounds like Maybe I can say it better than him. I doubt it. But, no, I mean, not. it really is like solving, trying to figure out the problems in, in different strategy gaps and being able to help find solutions for that on the field. So it sounds pretty fun. Cool episode, cool guy. We think you'll enjoy it. So uh, let's go. All right, thanks for jumping in on this episode of Go and Make. My name's Ryan, uh, this is Andrew, and today Hello. our special guest here is Finch Sprouse. He's been on staff with Crew for... 30 years. 30, 30 years. 30 years, yeah, I know. Uh, wow, but yeah. you've been on staff now with Jesus Film Project for... Uh, eight months. Eight months? Yes. All right, so you're just kind of like, how's rookie. the... how's the rookie season. <laughs> it's your rookie season. <laughs> so, I mean, it's been, uh, how's the transition been? And, and, well, I don't like that question, actually. I like the question... I mean, how did you even enter into this like idea of transitioning? I mean, we all work together and crew G Swing Project, but there is a, a, a differentiation in focus. So how did that occur for you? Well, there's some reorganization going on with the campus ministry and global missions. And so we were, it was kind of a good point for us to look and see, gosh, where, where do we feel the Lord's call, calling us? And we looked into the Jesus film. We went to a briefing in San Antonio, uh, one of the fundraising events. And we were so captivated by the stories of how God's using the Jesus Film Project. So the stories were really compelling to think, gosh, you guys are going in some of the hardest places mm -hmm. to get the gospel. Uh, and that really resonated with Kelly and I, where, where our heart was. But also listening to the donors and hearing the sacrifices they make yeah. to help fund the Jesus Film to get there. I was like, wow, this is really impressive that these people are very committed uh, to getting the Jesus Film out. So. We started the process of looking in the Jesus film, met with your wife, Jamie, to look at you know, global mobilization roles. And then the R&D innovation job was there. And I was doing that in global missions. And so okay. it just seemed like a really, really good take for That's us. That's awesome. So, so R&D, <clears throat> R&D, when you think about it you know, in a normal you know, uh, marketplace what, perspective. What does R&D mean to you? So R&D to me is like developing new products or new technologies. How does that fit within like R&D? Like maybe explain what R&D is in the role of a ministry. Right. No, that's a good question. There's a, a wide variety. And the thing with Jesus Film I've noticed too is <clears throat> it's not like they weren't already doing R&D. I mean, the gospel in 1800 languages, there's yeah. R&D innovation already, you know, light stream boxes, all this stuff. But thinking through is, are there ways we can mobilize more people? Can we get equipment faster to people on the field? Uh, are there some new technological innovative ideas that we can do? So it's kind of a, a wide swath of innovation, research and development that we're looking for. Some of it's even changing uh, the structure and the system within Jesus Film to see if we can help it become more effective and, and efficient. It's ah, so really probably not okay. all that different than a traditional more mainstream R&D. Right. Just advancing the products that are ministry focused. Exactly. So exactly. what's an example of something that you're working on right now? So or, your, or your team? So what we're working on right now are, you know, Jesus Film mission trips have been predominantly, they've come from the U.S. going to the world. So one of them that we're helping the, the JFMT group take on is what we call outpost trips. Like, so we were in New Zealand back in November, helping their country director think, gosh, who better to reach the Pacific Islands to reach you know, Tonga, Vanuatu, you know, all those Pacific Islands than people actually in New Zealand, as opposed to them coming from the US. Mm -hmm. Let's train them, it's cheaper. It's, it's so far. Yeah, it is so far. It's, so it's, far. it's, it's a long way, it's a yeah. long flight. It's more their culture. So we went down there to train them how to lead their own Jesus Film mission trip, explaining to them some of the logistical stuff, the app training. Hmm. And so now they, and they were with, I think they had church leaders from 10 different churches in attendance of this training. And they were all making plans, like how can we launch our own Jesus Film mission trip into these areas cool. and sustain them. So. so I was trying to think a little bit outside, like you see a gap, like here's the problem, right? right? This is pretty far. Culturally, there's some differences for sure. We need to help solve that. So right. that's where you guys just kind of enter in exactly. and try to solve the problem. Yeah. Hmm. One, other, one other quick idea is, so the, the tablets, you know, if say the director, the country director of Nepal says, I need like 400 tablets. Tablets to do what? Uh, to show Jesus Film Media on. Okay. 
so what happens is Lenovo sends the tablets to Orlando, and then someone in this warehouse here takes like, it's about an hour to two to We're not in a warehouse right now. We're in a really nice uh, living room. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I passed through a warehouse to get to the right. nice living room. That's okay. right. Think, that's right. I, I think that's how it works. Yeah. I'm sure there's a warehouse somewhere in here. <laughs> um, but, the, you know, to, to preload all the Jesus Film media on there, it's, it's about an hour to two per tablet. So you're talking, okay. you know, almost 800, 800 hours worth of work. So our team's been tasked with, hey, is there a way we can get that preloaded from Lenovo so that when they ship to Orlando, it's already ready, and when the equipment's ready to be distributed to the different countries, boom, that's all I got to do. Ship it to them. They and Lenovo does that? Well, we're working with them right now. That's one okay. of the projects Lenovo. we're working Yes. You hear <laughs> Yes, Lenovo. <laughs> we need your at. help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so, crazy, man. That's a, yeah, that's awesome. So a lot of the, the specific you know, things that are targeted at, at regions or countries specifically is that coming from someone in the field there how, how do you go from your role you know here in the states to knowing you know what the needs are globally well we're mostly just listening to to our team to the global mobilization team and some of the other leaders within you know i was talking to to ryan and matt Thiessen about doing some 360 you know vr type work so listening you know kind of what are the needs out there what do you guys feel like you know are, are critical that will help help move us closer to getting the gospel to more places. Very cool. Now, so, so what was your um, experience in the campus ministry? You said you've kind of done some of this space mm -hmm. before uh, your campus ministry for over 29 years. Right, right. Yeah. So what was kind of the, some of that space and what are the, some of the things that you learned that kind of helps you apply some of that even here within yeah. Jesus One Project? So the last eight years we've been doing global missions. So focusing on getting, you know, short-term missions over, whether it's a summer mission or someone to go one to two years or a long-term staff over there. And so thinking through what are some creative ways, what are some digital ways, innovative ways we can help them launch movements all around the world. So we started working with, you know, with social media and uh, doing digital strategy type stuff. So one particular, say you're in a, in a large country in South Asia, large city, millions of college students there and you're trying to find gosh are there any christian college students odds of you kind of bumping into them mm -hmm. slim to none but go on facebook and begin to look through all the students that go to this particular university and see if they have any christian tags like they they you know they like the bible or they like certain christian music artists and and begin to filter them out and then send them a message saying hey i'm on your campus i would love to get together with you and we did that and and the results were incredible I can think of student after student that had no idea there were other Christians on his campus or her right. campus that now met with some of our stinners that were over there and, and began to find out, gosh, there's actually, you know, four or five of us that, that love the Lord and want to reach people. And so we're training them and developing them. And now they're becoming leaders of their campus at their university. They're becoming the, the Christian leader there, mm. launching movements all yeah. over. That's cool. That's so really neat. So using digital strategies to kind of think through a, another way to, to help our, our teams over there do ministry. So you got all the you know experience with crew with uh, you know, with digital ministry and then now at Jesus Film you know what looking forward with what you're working at with Jesus Film what are you like really excited or passionate about like what's the next thing on the horizon that's really got your attention? Well, a lot of things. I love all the projects, the outpost trips, the the tablet duplication. Uh, think through uh, the one thing I, I get excited about potential virtual reality or 360 yeah. video. You love virtual reality. I do love virtual reality. In my mind, what's wrong with our current one? <laughs> there's no. We we've got great media. Okay. We've got great media. We have a but great reality right now. We we do right now. Yeah. Right. We have a great reality. <laughs> we have a great reality. But I feel like that's that's where our culture is going. In that that the next generation is going to need more, you know, hype, more excitement, more experience, if you will. And so in my mind, I thought. It's one thing to watch the Jesus film and, and see Jesus, you know, at the, at the Lord's Supper. It'd be another thing, but what would it be like to be actually sitting at the table, and there's Peter, and, and, and there's John, and there's Jesus, and you're watching him serve the Lord's Supper, or to be at the foot of the cross, mm -hmm. and to feel just the agony and, and the, 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 you know, the, the pain of that, and to watch, there's my Lord on the cross. So in my mind, I'm thinking these are some of the next things that we can do to help people advance in their understanding of who Jesus is and what he did for us. That's kind of exciting. If you, if you need any beta testers, you know, just hit me up. <laughs> right, right. So uh, <clears throat> you and Kelly, Kelly's your wife. Yes. You guys get to do this together. Yes. How fun is that? It's awesome. That was one of the, the you know, as, as our kids are out of the house, we're empty nesters now, um, one of the, the 
as we were looking for different roles, yeah. it was a very strong value that we had that we could work together. Yeah. And we really, really enjoy working together. <clears throat> I'm more technical. She's more people. Mm -hmm. She can do a little bit of tech. I can do you know, a little bit of people. But uh, the combination seems to work really well. So she keeps me on my toes uh, as far as creating a healthy team culture. I keep her on her toes as far as let's advance the projects, get the tasks done, mm -hmm. action steps, and you know, all that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been great. We celebrate our 31st anniversary tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, congrats. Yeah. Thank huh? you. Thank yeah. you. I'm excited about that. I'm going to take her to Taco Bell, I think. <laughs> you know. Wednesday. So tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Wednesday yeah. deals? Wednesday deals. Yeah, I'll see. Maybe there's some leftover Same Tuesday deal deals day. from T-Mobile. From <laughs> well, I get to work with my wife, too, and that's pretty fun. Yeah, and your wife's awesome. I know. I assume so, your wife's awesome, too. But oh, I she's great. Know. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching this. Yep. <laughs> Um, kind of as we kind of wrap up here, um, is there any way uh, specifically that you know the, the people at home watching, like you know, is there anything specifically we can support you or pray for you? You know, what's like you are like right at the front edge of advancing this mission, and you know, what can what can somebody at home do to help you out? That's a good question. I appreciate you asking. I would say all of our team is new, but we've all been experienced. You know, I think we've got five of us were former Global Mission National Directors. Another mm -hmm. couple on our team were, were uh, team leaders up in Wisconsin. So we've got a very experienced team, very experienced internationally, but new to Jesus Film. And so as we're trying to, you know, what, what's nice is we don't have the sacred cows that some people have. So we can kind of think through, I mean, we have sacred cows from our old jobs. It's not like we're, you know, yeah. without those, but we can look at Jesus Film without the sacred cows. Fresh and think, eyes. Gosh, this would help us be more effective and efficient. Mm -hmm. But we're also at the same time not wanting to come in with guns blazing and say, hey, we're the change people and we're going to change how you've done things for years. So trying to develop the relationship and the rapport, but also take advantage of the experience and the fresh eyes to think, gosh, what, what can we do to really help Jesus Film advance the gospel into those gaps, you know, the places where people just have never heard. That's cool, man. That's great. Well, dude, we're grateful for you. Glad you and Kelly came over. And this whole R&D team, which was non-existent. Right. When? Like eight months well, ago. Eight months yeah. ago when right. you came on. So, so anyways, we're, we're grateful for all the space you're leaning into, exciting, like, what's going to happen? What's it going to look like in a year and two years and three years? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be different, which is awesome. That's all. Well, I appreciate you guys. New direction, so. And we love it. It's been so fun. We've loved working all the Jesus Film staff we've met with. It's just, just their heart and their vision to get to the, get the gospel to the world. It's been very exciting for us. So I, I wake up every morning just thinking through new ideas, new ways, and so it's given us a, a good, at this stage of life, a good fresh breath of air to to keep running the race. Cool. All right, man. Appreciate you coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me, yeah, guys. Dude. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.